area is Michael Winlow. Michael, good morning. Uh, good morning, Andrew. How are you? Very good, Michael. News this week here of a $5 million placement. Uh, tell us a bit about it. Well supported, it seems. Yeah, it was a very well supported placement. Uh, closed very quickly. We had uh, terrific support from our previous lead manager as well, 62 Capital, uh, who also uh, cornerstoned a significant portion of the 5 million, which I guess goes to show their you know, uh, support and belief in the company, which was great. So yeah, we're very, very pleased to get that done. And what was the objective behind the, the capital raise? What will you be using the cash for? Well, the objective is to get cash, uh, but uh, no, of course we, we um, uh, you know, the key things for us is uh, we've got some terrific fundamentals in place and now uh, we're resourced and fueled up to get through uh, the pivotal registration work for our EMD003 programs. That's primarily uh, the majority of the, uh, the need for the cash, um, but it also allows us to start expanding our pipeline, both uh, geographically and uh, in earnest, start to explore opportunities for us to uh, get to the US through the FDA and uh, start to scope that pathway. Also allows us to expand our pipeline therapeutically, which has always been the goal, and start to put some serious support behind some of the psychedelic assisted therapy trials, which we've been scoping out and preparing for uh, with our partner Mind Medicine Australia. So uh, uh, I think, you know, th th this cash is going to accomplish a lot uh, in the next year. How's the, you mentioned EMD003, how's the irritable bowel syndrome trial? Yeah, so that's going well too. So right now we are uh, haven't committed to a schedule for that yet. We're still dose range finding, seeing what works. Uh, irritable bowel syndrome is a highly diverse condition. Uh, so we see patients with all sorts of other complications and comorbidities with that. Uh, and so we're carefully titrating these people through a 12 week program right now uh, to see what works best in those patients. And then from those insights, we'll then design like we did with the MD003, uh, kind of an ideal dose form, an ideal dose range, uh, and take that forward through registration. And what else can we look forward to, Michael, as far as near term news from you? Yeah, well, I think the key thing is to see the activity around our expanding pipeline. Uh, we've got this tremendous data set now, this amazing national network, uh, which uh, gives us access to thousands of patients. Uh, and from that, we're able to find, you know, what kind of treatments are working for which patients. They can each become, in their own right, separate drug development programs, uh, which uh, are often are targeting unmet needs of global significance. Uh, so we'll start to launch uh, more programs in the near term as well. Uh, plus, we're doing some other really interesting stuff, which we'll get to talk more about a little bit later about our data research and some of the publications and activity we've got uh, going uh, behind the scenes as well. Appreciate the update. Michael, thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Cheers, mate.